This is a quick tutorial on how to represent uh, vectors graphically. Um, and uh, this is something we reviewed in class, but uh, you may need to take a second look at this. Um, let's just take some vector. We'll call it uh, vector A. We'll say that it's a force vector. So we'll give it um, you know, uh, a magnitude of 5 uh, newtons. And we'll say that it's acting at uh, 52 degrees. First thing we want to do is recognize the different parts of a vector. I've used this little uh, hat notation to denote that it's a vector, therefore it has both a magnitude, which is this here, so we'll call that the magnitude. The magnitude is the typically the quantity or the number associated with a vector. Of course it also has a unit, in this case um, it's newtons, but the unit describes what type of a vector it is. And then finally, there is a direction associated with this uh, quantity. So uh, this last piece, the direction, in this case 52 degrees, is the one thing that sets vectors apart from scalars. A scalar is a quantity that has magnitudes, uh, magnitude only. So um, let's take a look at our coordinate axis. I've got 0 degrees, 90 degrees up here at the positive y-axis. 180 degrees over here at the negative x-axis, 270 degrees on the negative y, and then of course back to 360 degrees again. What I need to do in this case is use both a protractor and a ruler to make a graphical representation or a sketch of this vector. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this protractor in. I'm going to set it here um, and a couple of things uh, to note. First that uh, if you take a look here at the 90 degree mark, that 90 degree mark should be on the positive y-axis. And likewise, 0 degrees over here should be on the positive x. And uh, 180 degrees over here should be on the negative x. That are, those marks are there basically just to line up the protractor properly. What I'm going to do next is uh, kind of just make a mark for starters at 52 degrees. So if you take a look at here, this is an acute angle, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and I'm just going to make a mark right here at roughly this spot right here. So that's going to be 52 degrees. And so now I know where from the origin 52 degrees is. Oops, didn't want to move the axis there. I did want to move this. All right, so there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my ruler and what I'm going to do is move this ruler so that uh, it goes from the origin to that mark that I made. And I'm getting there somewhere right around here. That looks pretty good. And uh, the ruler is there to help me define a scale. Now, I should have done this right at the beginning of the problem, but let's go ahead and set up a scale. I'll do it over here in the second quadrant where I have some free workspace. I'm going to say that one newton is equal to one centimeter. And let's just assume that this little um, generic ruler that I'm using is um, measuring in centimeters. The scale is in centimeters. So let me go ahead and sketch then my vector. It needs to be five centimeters long. Starting at the origin, it needs to be five units long passing through 52 degrees. And now it's met both of these requirements. I can get rid of this uh, ruler now, and I should be able to recognize that this is now vector A. I could label it. I can call this vector A. I should recognize that its length is appropriate to its magnitude. So based on this scale, it's five units long, and it's at 52 degrees. Now, um, why don't, uh, while we're at it, and I guess more quickly, let's go ahead and add a second vector. I'm going to call it uh, vector B, and I'm going to say that vector B is also a force vector. We'll say that it's 3.2 newtons at 210 degrees. Why don't you think about which quadrant that would be in? Okay, so this is the first quadrant. Here's our second quadrant over here. This is the third quadrant and over here is the fourth quadrant. Which quadrant is vector B going to be in? Okay, uh, hopefully you've answered uh, the third quadrant. Once again, when I set up my protractor here, I should recognize that 
0 is the positive x, 90 is the positive y, 180 is the negative x, and I'm beyond 180, uh, which means I'm going to basically have to turn my protractor around in order to use it properly for this problem. So uh, basically, 210 degrees is 30 degrees beyond 180. So when I kind of make my guide mark here, I can see this is 0, 10, 20, and 30, and I'm going to place my guide mark right there so that when I go ahead and draw this vector, it should pass through that green mark. I'll bring my ruler back out. I'm going to have to rotate it around again. This might be a little tricky for me to do. It's going to look weird upside down, but I think you get the idea. Starting from the origin, looks pretty close right there. Um, and so now this needs to be 3.2 units long, roughly around there. And so now I've successfully drawn vector B. Oops, I didn't want to move the x-axis. Let's move that ruler. Okay, so now I've successfully drawn vector B. I can go ahead and sketch it in. I'm going to call this vector B. You should notice a couple of things. Number one, uh, <clears throat> vector B is physically smaller. The representation of vector B here, the length of that, is smaller than that of vector A. And that's by design. We've already set up our scale up here at the top. One newton is equal to one centimeter. So it, so it really should be. And uh, also A is longer than B. You should also recognize their relative uh, positions in this uh, coordinate axis starting from 0 degrees going all the way over here to 210 degrees um, and then vector A starts at 0 degrees and goes over to 52 and that's basically uh, two practice uh, problems or examples of sketching vectors graphically a requisite skill for um, being successful in vector physics